Hey guys, ETN Sun here from Sunbros, and today I'm hanging out with Greg Lee Gaming, and we're here to break down the 1.1.96 patch for you guys, and it is a doozy. There is a lot of changes, so we're gonna go through them thoroughly but quickly. <coughs> um, all right, so we're gonna start from the top, Greg. First person on the list is Saber. Uh, Saber got. Well, we'll read it to you. So the skill area reduced from 5 to 4.5. So the, the circle in which the blades fly around Saber is been decreased a little bit. <clears throat> but the size of the of the blades has increased from 1 point to 1.2. So you could kind of call that a wash for the most part. Um, the uh, AD... that, having, the, having the big range, though, it puts it allowed to put him close to a lot of people to be able to hit him. Because I think a lot of ADs probably have about 4.5 mm -hmm. range. Good one, anyway. It definitely makes him a little bit, uh, it, it makes him have to take more risks to use his blades, but the increased size is nice, and they didn't increase the damage from 0.8 to 0.9, that's the AD bonus damage. Uh, the mana cost also increased. Um, <clears throat> so I don't like the mana cost increase, because I feel like he runs out of mana really quickly. Anyways, yeah, so now he's like dependent on having purple. And or, with his ult range being nerfed as well, like, well, we're going he's way we're not there yet. We're skipping ahead. Way better, sir. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it's in this Next, the, um, all of Saber's stuff got changed. Oh, yeah. Next is Saber's second ability, Charge, which is his dash. Moving distance got switched to 4.2 to 4. Now, 4.2 to 4 might not seem like a big deal, but what we have to wait and find out is he can go over the same walls, yeah. if he can go over all the same walls or not. Because I think that this he could barely make it over some of the, some of the walls that he can make it over already. So that might be enough to reduce his mobility around the jungle quite a bit. And it could be a huge nerf. <clears throat> Next is Triple Sweep, which is is ultimate. The attack range is reduced from four or five point nine to four point six. So that's a gutted large. Gutted it. They gutted it. <laughs> I mean, the. I've played it. I've played it. It's horrible. Um, you no longer be able to pick people out without really getting close. You got to get really close to try to ult yeah. and expose yourself. And same with the with the blades. Um, it, they did increase the damage slow, very, very slightly, but for the most part, you're getting that's a huge nerf in the distance that you have to er, in, in the range. And <clears throat> they also changed his passive as if that wasn't enough. They did, they changed it. It's 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 technically a nerf, but it's a just it's just different. It, it's, it's it's okay in small skirmishes, but in long fights, it's, it's worse. So the passive. As you guys know, <clears throat> reduces the stacks, you know, debuffs of, of taking off. Uh, um, it adds penetration, right? Um, and so it used to do it 10 times, 10 stacks of 5 for 50 total. Now it does 5 stacks of 7 for 35 total. Now, obviously, you'll get there a lot faster half the time, but you also won't get quite as high. So it's kind of a, <clears throat> it's better in some instances, it's worse in others, but all around. Saber is now an assassin with the build of somebody who plays at a distance who now no longer has distance. Um, <clears throat> very, very possible that this destroys Saber. Now he has more I damage. Really no, I, I just I'll... wonder if their goal, and albeit failed goal, is to make Saber more like the other assassins in that they need to be up close. Now the, the problem is, is that the other assassins that need to be up close have, you know, parts of their kit that really help them make a difference. So like Natalia has smoke bomb where she can't really get basic attacked for a while. Um, Karina has the ability to go, you know, with her first ability to not get basic attacked. Um, Hayabusa has shadow step, so when he goes in and goes balls deep on you, he can always shadow step out to wherever he needs to. I mean, so Saber now has the same need to be close range to do a lot of damage, but not the same not the same defensive abilities um so that's kind of a weird thing but <clears throat> saber we are calling this overall a nerf but obviously we need to see a little bit more about it i mean a nerf or potentially just he yeah. you're gonna have to change oh, the way you play him all together the ult's in the game now and i can tell you why it's trash <clears throat> Yeah, but I mean, it's still a good ult for picking people out, but it's not. The it's question fun. though is, is is he is he awful now, or is is he just? Do we need to learn a new a new different way to play him? Because if he does a lot more damage, if the damage increase is somewhat substantial, and 
he's just differently to play he could still be pretty potent so he's got to figure that out when it comes out but overall we're labeling this early a nerf uh karina gets a buff i mean it's kind of it's the got same a buff. thing no no <clears throat> it's it's not the same thing karina's an in-your-face melee type whereas yeah, saber's but... like stick on the outside <clears throat> and then pick people off well, let, me she... let me read it let me read it let me read it so yeah. karina's ult they reduced the range of that from six to four point six so they reduced it by about the same as they reduced Saber's ult. Um, but they also, and they also reduced the movement speed that she moves from 20 to 16. And the, but they also reduced the cooldown reduction by, by 10%. Um, yeah, why didn't they do that with Saber's? Like, they could have reduced it, yeah. So here's my thoughts on that. Number one, she definitely has to be more at risk to get in range to do it. Number two, the reduced movement speed so what i uh, you guys know i like to say a lot about karina's is the real way to counter a karina is with like a cyclops ult or some kind of crowd control ability that can stop her for a single second and you have a good chance to pick karina off right so if the reduced movement speed in her ult as well as the reduced range in her ult make her a little bit more easy to pick off or to crowd control so you can pick her off then that's a good thing but the reduced cooldown reduction is a big deal because she's already pretty much able to spam that ability as much yeah. as she wants. And it's not movement speed, it's <clears throat> the speed of the ult that flows. Right, 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 right. So, yeah. no, but, the, yeah. but the point is, though, is that I have more time now to hit that Cyclops ult and stop her in her tracks. Or potentially get that final burst passive shot with Clint off before she gets to me and kills me. You know, like, if we're both low on health... It, yeah, <clears throat> it, it, it might make a difference. If it I mean, it'll definitely fact. make a difference. If it, the question is if how it wasn't big of for the fact of read the rest of the, the next part of the Okay, so then the book. <clears throat> combo hit, extra damage increase from 8% to 10%. Now, what is the combo hit? Is that her? That is her passive, okay, the true so, damage. <clears throat> so the true damage is now more damage. Um, and then Dance of Death, which is her first ability, just increase a reduction of mana cost. Because, you know. That makes sense. Karina doesn't have any issues as it is, so just reduce the mana cost so she has, uh, you know, less of a need to get purple. That's one of the only re ways of actually stopping Karina is trying to starve her a purple. Um, I, can't, I can't think that's a four four <coughs> thing. It, um, it's just a, it's a change. Well, it says reduce. They reduce the cost of the mana substantially. Be, uh, yeah, but it's more per level, so it might oh, be higher later like, levels. But it's uh, better early game, so yeah. you know it's still a problem because <coughs> it's better early game. Okay, so Tig Reels, Sacred Hammer, which I believe is his first ability. <laughs> Rip Tig. Is that his first ability? I don't think it is. No, is that his second ability? That might be his ult. No. Oh, are you on the game, Chad? I'm, I'm opening it up. I'm opening it up. Um, <clears throat> that would be a bummer. But, okay, so Tig Reels, Sacred Hammer, range reduced from 5 to 4.5. And Fearless, duration increased from 3 to 5 seconds. That's that's good. That's just passive. That's that's not bad. <clears throat> I mean, needless but to say, it sounds like well, that's let me not see. the part of his kit that people care about. Right, I'm going people into it now. Gone. Tig's ability is what is it? What are we looking for? A sacred hammer? No, is his second ability. <clears throat> so he can't push people oh, okay. away as far <clears throat> as he used to. And then yeah, it is his passive. So his passive, the the duration of his passive is increased, which actually makes him a lot more tankier. So that's good. <clears throat> so he kind of got just changed, evened out. Um, Natalia got a fix on her claw dash. This has fixed the arrow of the second indicator. That doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, Akai, thousand pounder. Um, that is Akai's ability number one is jump. Um, moving distance adjusted. Oh, early game buff you mean. Early game buff. No, no. Wait, where, where, where are we? <clears throat> yeah, it's not as much late game. It's er it's farther distance. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah early no, game. No, no. So it's an early game. Akai's jump is like no. Nerf, nerf the, uh, Magic's moving speed. Movement, moving speed reduction from 15 to 12. That's not a lot, though. I don't know why that <clears throat> nerf is. Of all the tanks, I'd have thought Franco would have been nerfed. But he isn't. Spoilers. Okay, and then that's all for Akai. Next is Cho, Way of the Dragon. This is actually a pretty huge nerf. Eh, not, it's not, not killing him, but it's still a nerf. Cho's Way of the Dragon is ultimate. His kick away distance cap adjusted from 7.5 to 6, which is a pretty 
pretty decent decrease. Could it could <clears> make <throat> the difference? It could mean you don't go over that certain wall, or you don't go, or you don't go to tower. Yeah. Or whatever. <clears throat> so it, it could make a difference. That's mm. the maximum range. I mean, you get to choose on Chao when you kick him. So yeah. Next is Yan Zhao Spear Flip. Skill area adjusted from 4.2. So it's a it's a uh, a nerf. His spear, his spear flip. His flip cannot be. It's a slight nerf to the distance in which it can be done. <clears throat> Nothing substantial, but still a nerf. Lapu Lapu in light sword state. Brave stance moving distance reduced. And that is his second ability, which is his dash. So he decreases dash in the light sword state. They seem to be by a little bit. Uh, the range on everyone. Yes. Well. But they increase the HP growth from 194 to 213. Which reverts. I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's a good <clears throat> That's a buff. A nerf on the... But he had one of the longest dashes in the game, so I forgot that. Um, Maya's vision shot. Basic damage decreased by 5. So Maya, as if she wasn't... Really... They're trying to <clears throat> get Maya out of the meta, clearly. She's really not Rara's in the meta. I, um, I have... Um, her ult is really, really ethnically. It doesn't seem to work all the time. It only seems to work some of the time, so whatever. Uh, Rain of Arrows, basic damage adjusted way down early game and a little bit higher late game. <clears throat> so Rain of Arrows is now more garbage than it ever has been. Um, so that's cool. Next is fix the inconsistency. Uh, fix the inconsistency of actual area and indicator area. Um, that's dumb. Mana cost adjusted. Just changed. <clears throat> Bruno's volley shot. Basic damage adjusted down. So Bruno's getting a big nerf from volley shot. Well, they made they made it a bit quicker. I mean, his first ability. <clears throat> yeah, they increased the um, radius <clears throat> by like zero point. Not five, but it's the damage is actually pretty substantial. It's it's yeah. eighty People at can max the ball range anyway. and thirty at at first. Yeah. Um, that actually may screw up a lot of the um special like bounces off walls you can do. You might get stuck yes. more. So it might be a double now. And then flying tackle, his second ability, the mana has been adjusted up. It's going to be a lot more expensive to play. Um, Clint, flying smoke. Basic damage decreased by 10. That's uh, that's nothing to him. World's most poison. <clears throat> Heal rope. Basic damage decreased by 20. None, none of that means anything to Clint's kit. I can tell you that. Um, Layla's Malefic Bomb, which is Layla's, I want to say, second the, ability. The bomb. The second ability, <clears throat> yeah. No, it's not. It's the first one. Um, that's bomb. Yeah, I just checked. I know. Movie. Yeah, I just checked. Really? Cooldown that adjusted. Man. To, from oh. 3.5. Oh, nerfed. huge yeah. nerf early game. Big time. <clears throat> I don't know why, because no one plays it. But that hits hard early game. That thing hits a quarter of your health. Early. That's that's the thing. Like, why nerf the one good thing she's at? Like, <clears throat> I know, right? That's kind of funny. Uh, the radius, radius increase. Yeah. That's by, by the same amount. Destruction rush. Fix the inconsistency of indicator radius. That's dumb. Uh, void projectile. That is the second ability. <clears throat> the mana went down. It's pretty Mana nice. cost down okay yeah she didn't really have a mana issue but okay. that's something <clears throat> and then Moscow basic attack reduced by eight which <laughs> is a lot guys it's a skin you but gotta remember <clears throat> no 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 no. but that also changes the way he scales because it's his base yeah so his scaling just plummeted on his basic attack um <clears throat> that's all his damage is gonna and his basic HP reduced by five that is a big nerf to Moscow. It's, it's hilarious. I don't know why they know. What's YYS? What does that mean? Oh, what does it say? Why uh, the f YYS uh, basic attack increase? Oh, Yi Shun Chin? It's not Yi. It's, it's YSS. It should be YSS. Oh, oh. That's what I thought too. So there must be Yi Shun Chin though. <clears throat> Yi Shun Chin's basic attack increased, which is pretty pretty cool. Yidora. Seems his base. Ooh, that's bull crap. Eudora's Fork Lightning cooldown adjusted. Yeah, that's awful. That's really good. That's really good buff. It's a really good buff feeder. So it's adjusted at first Huge. level from 12 to 8.5, which is a significant. It's a massive buff early, but <clears throat> even late game, that's pretty good. And you got to think, take off 40% because Eudora used Yeah, yeah. At least some about, cool man. She's going to be, her cooldown on Fork Lightning is only going to be a couple seconds. That's stupid. Next, Alice, Flowing Blood, basic attack increased by 30? 
Yeah, this is a trend now. Quite a few people have got ADC. Is well, it... no, it's not even that. It just <clears> means <throat> that when she auto attacks, it doesn't do absolutely garbage or nothing. At least it gives her a point to auto attack. No, no, enemy. flying blood is her first ability. Oh, so basic attack means it just increases the, uh, um, the damage. Damage base damage is what it meant to say. <laughs> okay, okay. So that's good. That's good. Bad for a lot of damage. Okay, blood awe is the second, second. ability, yeah. and that Lower does really, really, nice. Okay. really nice lot. because by all. she used to lot. run out of mana by using <clears> like <throat> one combo. That's still a lot. Okay. I think I think I think Alice is actually decent to start with. Like people just this don't know how to play. These are two nice so, buffs, Alice, and she's yeah, already it might becoming make pretty playable. strong. She's strong right now. This is a big buff. Yeah. Big buff on two different on her first two abilities. Um, <clears throat> Raffaella, Light of Retribution, basic. You know what? I actually think that's Raffaella's getting a little bit scary as a damage dealer. And that sounds yeah. dumb. But that it's first ability five, early game hurts. Yeah, it's because you can hit five people with it. Like you just cast it and run on. Mm. Well, that, so like, that increased uh, the damage of her first ability by thirty. Early game, it's like that old crap Soraka. hurts. Yeah, do you yeah. remember old Soraka? You just yeah. cast it and it comes down. It's like that. It's, it, that was bullshit. You know what I mean? So now this thing is gonna do. Two, this is gonna deal two fifty at the beginning of the game with a four second cooldown. She yeah, can continue, and it, the dis the range is massive on that ability. It's gonna be Huge. good. It's gonna be good for aggressive Raphael. Let's play. I think this is actually going to between I stole that. between this. I stole that. No, no. Let's listen. Between this and between a new mage item that I just read about, this may make her yeah. more viable. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, yeah, I agree. Okay, I agree. so that make her a good support. Okay, so we'll get to that in a little bit, and we'll explain it when we talk about the item. Okay, next is where are we at? Kagura got a buff, a double yeah, buff. Yeah, double buff. S some uh, Siamese this, man. this is gonna be terrible. Umbrella open is just her first ability does more damage. Ying Ying overturn her second ability does more damage. Um, That's <clears throat> good. Like I didn't think you were needed. No, no, no. Ying Ying overturn is her ult. Her ult got a buff. Really? Holy crap! So she which just got the exploded version? Both, I assume. Ah, because I'm. I suppose they got different names. No, they're the yeah. same names. Same names. Oh, they're same names. So it's mm -hmm. probably the explosion because of both. Does. No, because the first part just activates and it doesn't do. No, it does damage. Holy crap. This, yeah, so this is crazy. Okay. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> so that's a huge buff to Kagura, actually. Gord, Mystic Injunction, cooldown reduced. Yeah, Gord's huge. That's his this is, stun. This is, this is this... massive. All okay, the so buffs. We'll, let's, okay, well, Gord let's go is one by one. one, by one. Gord one by is one. hilarious. Ready. Mystic Injunction. His. his, his Stun, his yeah. second ability. So it's stun three seconds off. Three second reduction three in the cooldown reduction. That is a it's lot. Because it goes from 11 to 8 at first level. So that's nasty. It's, it's, that's <clears throat> No, it's on 8 cooldown. Mystic Projectile is 8 cooldown. No, no, it's Mystic Injunction. Which is... The second ability. No, that's stun. his second ability. Yeah, oh, no, no. So, Ooh, that's great. No, no, no you're right. I was AOE. at it backwards. I had it backwards. Yeah, the yeah. AoE is now reduced, but that's a lots of that's crazy. Three that seconds. crap does a that's lot of damage. Huge. No, but no, but carry on, carry oh, on yeah. reading. Uh, we got Mystic Gush, which is his ult reduced by four seconds. The cooldown is reduced by four seconds, which is yeah, a 38. lot. Time between damage adjusted. Oh, so it ticks literally Faster. a quarter times mm. quicker. So the so right now quicker. when you're getting hit by Gord, when you're getting hit by Gord's ult, it does damage to you every. 0.4 seconds and now it's going to do damage to you every 0.3 seconds which is a very which is a, actually damage 25 percent extra damage and yeah as if that was enough and there's more it made it a bit thicker it's thicker which is what she said um, which is what it was before which is what made him bullshit before so he's so 0.6 radius now instead of 0.5 which is actually a pretty nice increase next yeah. mystic projectile which is which is his first his first his ability first. which is the stun the base damage but, is increased yeah, by 30 Man Plus Mystic Injunction, the mana decrease by a lot yeah. of his Injunction, which is a second ability. So he's now going to be able to spam his second ability over and over again. He'll be able to spam that however he pleases. And that thing I mean, is it a used lot to be 100 it. mana. Now it's so, going to 85 plus skill level, which is going to be 90 yeah. starting. And then So you actually lose, if you go to level 15, 5 times 15. So what's that? 50, 75, 75 mana off. That's a lot. Um, <clears throat> Gord has gotten every ability except for his passive buff, and he is, in his ult, got a big buff. I mean, he's, he's decent anyway. Yes. Like, as long as people know how to play him, get position. I want all so this, the mages in yeah. Sun Squad playing Gord. <clears throat> you need to play Cyclops, Gord, and Alice now. They're the new meta. Jeez. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say that. I, I definitely, the rest of the mages are still strong. Especially Kagura got well. buffed. 
pretty hard. Especially seeing Aurora got buffed as well. Well, I'm not down there yet. Okay, <clears throat> next. Oh, it's next. Oh, it's Aurora. Frost Shock, radius increased. Okay, so her Frost Shock increased. That's her second ability, right? No, her first one, the one with the four second call then. The little No. Ball. Yep. Dang, that thing already has a lot. Oh, oh, the radius yeah. of its explosion, or, or its, its hitbox. No, no, just, yeah, the <clears> hitbox. Okay. So that shit will freeze your whole team. <laughs> well, no, ready for the bullshit. You ready for the bullshit. Oh, Read the next wait, one. Wait, wait. So here, wait, Read he, the next one. Hold on a second. Hold on. Well, actually, here, let's get back to Aura real quick, because the reason, I don't think that's necessarily a flat buff, because now it's going to be easier for her to hit minions when she's trying to shoot around minions to hit people. I don't know about that. I mean, because it's maybe, the thickness but... of it. It's the thickness of it. It's not the. Use it just for poke. So okay, who so... cares? Like now, this like, might actually be. A, this might be a nerf too. So Franco's Iron Hook hit radius was increased from 0.25 so, to 0.37. Yeah, now, it's. So key, they're making like, it so that you can't go that's through 50 minions. That's 50%. So you can't go through minions. Yeah. So it's kind of but, a nerf. But to make bullshit, <laughs> you're just not gonna be. It's like Blitzcrank's hook. I'm it's lost. fifty percent thicker. You. It's yeah. fifty percent. That shit will hit you like if you're either side of it. Now, one of my favorite uh, heroes in the game, Lolita, got a nice buff. This is actually a huge buff to any Lolita. Yeah, Energy Rocket is her size. is her first ability, her hammers, and they almost doubled the size of the uh, of the radius. Yeah. How many times How many times do I barely miss a hammer? Because I hit them most of the time. Now I'm never going to miss this crap. This, this is going to be crazy. If you do now, I'm, I'm leaving this one. <laughs> this is, that's a huge buff to her. Now her hammers are so much easier to hit. That means she's going to get that many more stunts. So <clears throat> that is nasty. Okay, now this, now get, get ready for the bull this. crap. Here we get to some of the bull crap. Um, Hayabusa got buffed. His the hit radius of his uh, shuriken. Sure, his first ability is point four to point five. So it's thicker. They're thicker now. Quad well, shadow. They fixed it. He doesn't issue. have the problem that uh, like Franco and Aurora do. Like that is a straight buff. He goes through. Yeah, minions. yeah. So it's a straight buff. And then they fixed an issue with his quad shadow where it was inconsistently indicating the area of where it was actually going to go. Um, so as, as the quad shadow wasn't good enough, they're just now fixing it to make it even better. Um, <clears throat> next is a hilarity to me. They nerfed Alpha. The well, Alpha, they, Alpha they gave him a slight buff. No, they didn't. Yeah, they did on his second ability. He already has that. There's oh, extra. It's just a little bit extra. So, <clears throat> number one, Alpha's first ability, Rotary Impact had the radius decrease from 20 to 26, which is a 20% decrease. So it's 20% less thick now. His second ability, Force Swing, what it used to do is, and they increased it by 40. It gives now 150 first uh, level. It gives 110, and now it's gonna be 150. So yeah. they increased the health you get here from second ability. It still doesn't make him, I mean, it's the first ability is actually a pretty big buff. A pretty big nerf, I think. The first one's The fact that they nerfed him as well as buffing him, like it just makes him back where he was, just pointless. Now, Estes got nerfed. The HP gain from extra Moonlight Immersion after casting Blessing of Moon Goddess adjusted to the same as unenhanced Moonlight Immersion. So, let's let's recap here. Moonlight Immersion restores 220 HP for the target immediately and links Estes with it. Um, so what it sounds like is they it's the immediate health. It, it went from that. No, to no. Like, so when he recasts his um, heal. Mm -hmm. It gives him an extra. It gives him extra. I'm trying to find him to play. It gives him extra um, boost to it. Right. You get really. He, he extra was released moonlight version one time, surrounding all alloys in the duration. He will constantly heal himself. Totally for blah blah blah. <clears throat> I think it's. I think it's the the immediate heal. That'd be a huge nerf though. I oh, know. So you know the extra moonlight immersion you get after you cast your ult. So when you cast your ult, you get a free copy of your first ability to use straight away. Right. So now it doesn't get enhanced. We don't so know quite what this heal... one does, let's be honest. We're guessing. Oh, that's what it means? So that's mm. exactly what it reads? The HP, HP gain from the extra, so the moonlight immersion you get after casting your ult is adjusted to the same as the unenhanced, your normal moonlight immersion. So okay. you don't get bonus heal from your first ability you use after your ult. But the it's just a slight nerf. <laughs> I mean, okay. Estes is screwed anyway after we get to the items. <laughs> okay, so that's a big, that's a big time nerf. Um, or it's a nerf. Alucard, the ult indicator, adjusted to target lock type, okay? That's cool. That's good. 
Freya, fix the error animation when casting Wings of Faith in Valkyrie State. In Wings of Faith, moving distance adjusted from 5.5 to 5.3. I think that's just a distance of her stun. I think is what it is. <clears throat> Sorry, Reed. You know what? You, you did, I think you missed the Alucard thing. It's changed the lock type, so you no longer. It's actually. I think it's a nerf, so you can no longer aim it wherever you want. No, no, you can't aim it now. Now you just yeah, hit so the you... button and you aim it on whoever. Now you're going to be so able to aim quicker. it to whoever you want. <clears throat> it, it is quicker though, but I think the problem is I like having the ability to cast it wherever I want. You no, no, no. You have it backwards. You can't. You can't aim it right now. I'm pretty yeah. sure you can. hold it and choose no, no, where you no. want to go. It, it doesn't aim though. It, it's it's a circle. It doesn't show you where you can go. I'm almost what positive. We'll, we'll look it up. Yeah, we'll look it up. Do you mind us? I, I I thought I couldn't aim. Comes it out up. like a little <laughs> little fucking line. You can throw it where you want. But now it's like a lock one. Oh, I don't oh well, we'll see. We'll figure it out. Items. Items. <clears throat> All right. Number one, Thunderbelt gets a big nerf. Rip. Thunderbelt, unique passive, 80 bonus adjusted from 0 0.7 to 0 0.4. What does that mean to you? Greg, what does it mean to them? It means uh, Clint's going to get wrecked. It's because everyone was building the whole Thunderbelt and this battle combo. So here's the way that it reads, guys. <clears throat> Thunderbelt, after you use the skill, the next basic attack will carry an extra 70% of the physical attacks as true damage. Now it's only going to do 40% of, of, your, of your physical attack. So it's literally almost cut in half the amount of damage it gets, which means that this item is no longer viable on anyone. Just throwing that out there. Unless you're playing a tank. Apparently I mean, Clint will still probably build and bridge combo. I will build it. They, not when they produce it. It's not, it doesn't give you enough other stuff. You're talking about all you get from it now as Clint is a quarter of what it used to do. Or almost half what it used to do. Not worth it. Next item, Book of Sages. Cooldown reduction adjusted from 8 to 5. What is Book of Sages? I can't thing? remember, they changed the name of everything so much. I'm looking for the Book of Sages, guys. Don't worry, I'll find it. Yeah, they did. It's definitely a mage item. It's not, I just went through all of them. <clears throat> Must be a first mage item. Oh, it's probably that little codex book. I have no idea. I just went through all of them and I couldn't find it. It's probably a baseline. Do you know the, the co yeah, yeah. codex <clears throat> book, the 300 one? So could I have a oh, reduction? Got, well, they ain't got a cool one. I'm not a field book. No sage. idea what book sage it is. It's, I think it's an in-between item. But <clears throat> Next, a new item, everyone. It's called Necklace of Durant. Durance? Um, what it gives Necklace you is 75 magic attack. Not bad. 300 max, max HP. Not bad. 5% cooldown reduction. Oh, it's a pretty good item. And the unique passive, Deadly, reduces target HP regen effect by 50% for 3 seconds. So, what does that tell us? It tells us that this is actually a big time nerf on Estes. Now mages can reduce his healing ability by 50%. Oh, and you wait till Gord gets this motherfucker and he puts that pool <laughs> underneath you. Well, here's the deal. Here's the deal, right? Now, remember they stopped Deadly Blades from being able to stack. Well, this is a different passive, isn't it? This is not the same passive. I'm going to confirm that Deadly Blade... Yes, that is a different named passive, so I would be shocked if they would not be able to stack. My guess is that the passive from this and the passive from Deadly Blade are going to stack. Now, that is on HP regen, guys. That's that's regen. That's what you do when you yes, hit the regen Lord button. That's lifesteal, and it's what you do when you're healing with Estes. Now, what it wouldn't affect the same way as Raphaela's heals because they're instant. I actually think it does. I think it reads wrong. I think it That's reads just all healing because Wouldn't I have seen all healing stuff. Like, lifesteal doesn't work against the uh, Deadly Blade. But it's why I make Alucard trash. So, I, I think it's, I it's think Gord, Deadly Blade, uh, the necklace, put them together and then he puts the AoE under a team and ults and none of you can heal. That's pretty nutty. Gord is now officially a monster. Um, okay, so that is everything in this patch that we've seen so far, guys. It's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of changes. It's a lot of stuff going on, but interesting. Some of them dumb. I mean, Hayabusa got buffed. Um, <clears throat> Karina probably got buffed. Moskov got nerfed again. Alpha got nerfed. Some weird stuff going on. For the most part, nothing uh crazy. 
I just think their buff and uh, nerfs are a bit ridiculous. I don't know. I think they're trying to lose people at this rate. Like, I don't understand some of the changes they were doing. Yeah. <clears throat> but changes that, aimed mm, towards the next like skins and stuff. So I expect a higher booster skin sometime soon. Yeah, right. Like a legendary high booster skin. Yeah. Look, look, look what happened to Saber. He got his skin. Everyone played it, and then they nerfed him to scrap. <clears throat> okay. Karina's so, next. Karina's next on the chopping block. That yeah. is all the changes that we have for you guys on this patch so far. Uh, patch 9.6. I hope you guys enjoyed the breakdown that we gave you on the patch. It's a lot of changes, so, you know, I hope you guys listen thoroughly and, and absorb all that stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your friends so they understand what's coming on the, on the 9.6 patch. And comment below and tell us what you guys think about all the buffs and the nerfs and the item changes. And we'll gladly respond and we'll have some conversations about it. But thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.